Hi, this is Maya Bristow. And Hannah Knott reporting for WBE TV. Season 4, Episode 4. First off, reporting on map testing is Emma Fugate and Abigail Bogue. Hold up. Wait a minute. Who? Ha! You wish you were a wildcat. Who? Ha! You wish you were a wildcat. No, I mean, what is map testing? Do you like study a map and take a test? I don't know. We're going to have to watch Emma and Abigail to find out. Hi, this is Emma Fugate and Abigail Bogue reporting for WBE TV. Abby, what are you doing? I'm getting onto the SRI. I have to get that done. Abby, we already did the SRI. Oh, well then I need to work on the map test. Abby, we're not doing the map test right now. Oh, well then what are we doing? We're supposed to be reporting. Can't you see the camera? Oh, hey. Anyway, we're supposed to be reporting on map testing, but I don't really know that much about it. Do you? Yeah, map test is a big test they take close to the end of the year. Hey, Abby, don't only third, fourth, and fifth graders take the map test? Yeah, and I have a question for you. How do you prepare for the map test? Well, I get lots of sleep and food and good breakfast and books to prepare my genius mind and body. How do you prepare, Abby? I get lots of sleep and study time so that my mind and body are both prepared for the test. Cool. Let's go interview some other people so that we know how they prepare. I'm here with Josiah. So, Josiah, how do you prepare for the map test? Well, I get good sleep. I have good breakfast, hashtag Frosted Flakes, yo, and I take my time when I do map test practice. That's lit. I know. Hi, I'm here with Isabel Berkman. So, Isabel, how do you prepare for the map test? I prepare for the map test by eating good food every day and getting lots of sleep. I'm here with Cheyenne. So, how do you prepare for the map test? I prepare for the map test by eating good breakfast and getting lots of sleep. Hi, I'm here with Ava Gilchrist. So Ava, how do you prepare for the map test? Well, I eat breakfast, and I try not to be nervous, and that's all. Well, kids sure are doing some great things to prepare themselves for the map test. Yeah, well, that's all we have for you today. This has been Abigail Bogue and Emma Fugit reporting, reporting for WBE TV. Back to the studio, bam! Oh Emma, my goodness! Said bam. I cannot believe Emma, you messed this we up. Said bam. We agreed on word. B A M. Bam. Word, word, Bam. word, word, Bam. word, Bam. word, Bam. word, Bam. word, word. Here's Australia, here's Asia, here's China. Hannah, here's... what are yeah. you doing? I'm sending a map for my map test, duh. <sighs> okay, whatever. Reporting on classy cats is Moses Narrows and Zoe Norman. Why were we, wait, why were we acting like a cat again? Uh, because I'm a cat woman, or maybe I'm more of a dog woman, or maybe... No, let's just take it the moment, Zoe. Right. Hi, my name is Moses Nares. And my name's Zoe Norman. Zoe, do you know how to sing? Yeah, cue the music. Nice to meet you, where you been? Oh, game, stop the music, stop the music! <laughs> what are you doing? Singing, duh, have you not heard of Classy Cat? I have, but I can't sing. You don't have to. I can't perform either. Never sing, never. Have you heard about the Classy Cat's performance? Yeah, they're pretty good. Better than me. Maybe you're crazy. Teleportation. I'll be outside if you need me. That was weird. Anyways, Class Cats was great. We should show a clip from them. They're so good, we should celebrate. This has been Zoe Norman and Moses Naros reporting for WBE TV. Back to the studio. Maya, stop acting like a cat. We need to get back to work. Oh, yeah. Reporting on Teacher Appreciation Week is Peyton Pyle. Hi, this is Peyton Pyle, ye boy, reporting for WBE TV. 
it's Kid Appreciation Week. We get all the candy and the pizza and the ice cream, and all the teachers are at our bidding. It's the best week ever, just to inform you guys. What? It's Teacher Appreciation Week. Says who? The man behind the camera. Okay, okay, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, I don't even know what that is, but okay. What are these things? Anyways, who's trying to haunt me? Go interview people. It's the best information of the day, whatever you are. Man behind the camera, let's go. I'm here with Miss Campbell. So Miss Campbell, what is Teacher Appreciation Week? Well, Teacher Appreciation Week is where kids and other teachers can tell each other that they're doing an awesome job and that we appreciate all the hard work that they put in here at William Bryant. Now that's smart. I'm here with Miss Salazar. So Miss Salazar, what is Teacher Appreciation Week? It's a week where students um, show their appreciation for all the hard work and teaching that teachers have done for them that year. That is really smart. I'm here with Ben. So Ben, do you know what Teacher Appreciation Week is? I believe I know what Teacher Appreciation Week is. It's a week dedicated to helping teachers for all the learning that they teach us. Are you doing anything for Teacher Appreciation Week? I'm part of Student Senate and our next meeting is our last meeting and we're going to be helping teachers for an hour. That's informational. Yeah, I guess there. I know all there is to know about Teacher Appreciation Week and other good news, that ghost is gone and the one that was throwing papers at me, but yeah, that was, that was fun while it lasted. Well, this has been, oh, oh, Peyton Pyle. Okay, well, this has been Peyton Pyle reporting for WBE-TV. Back to the studio. Hey, want to play charades? Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. Pink fluffy unicorn dancing on a rainbow. Yeah, that's it. Okay, my turn. A trash can. Nope. Banana? Nope. Oh, I know, a narwhal. No, I'm a lighthouse, duh. Really? Because you look nothing like one. Speaking of lighthouse. Oh, yeah. Reporting on lighthouse stats is Elena Butler, Caitlin Grisafi, and Myra Coffrin. Maya, can you dance? Um, is that even a question? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's take it to Brayden Gilchrist and Eva Brood reporting on Best Song Ever. Hi, my name is Brayden Gilchrist. And I'm Eva Wood, reporting for WBTV. Hey Brayden, what's the best song ever? Lean and Dab. No, it's We're gonna dance all night to the best song ever. Really? Yas. Well, what's your favorite dance move ever? Hit the fox. What's yours? Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka. Okay, um, let's go interview some kids on their favorite moves and the best song ever. Hi, I'm here with Braylon White, and I gotta ask you, what's your favorite song? My favorite song is Rolex. Oh yeah, same here. Sweet. What about your favorite dance move? My favorite dance move is the dab. Then do it. I'm here with Jocelyn Tebow. Jocelyn, what's your favorite song? Lean and dab. Can you show me how you dab? I'm here with a complete stranger. Wait, do you even here? Yeah, I'm your sister. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Uh, I just have to ask you a question. What's your favorite song? Just hold on. Cool. Okay, what about your favorite dance move? Disco. Mm. Cool. Josiah, what's your favorite song? My favorite song is Hall of Fame. And what's your favorite dance move? 
Well, of course, it's Running Man. Hope you enjoyed see seeing the kids' best song ever and their favorite dance move. This has been Eva Wood and Brayden Gilchrist. Back to the best song ever. Maya, do you have a musical account? Uh, yeah. Did you know WBE TV has one? Uh, yeah. Well, let's take it to Maddie and Hayden reporting on Musically. Hello, I'm Hayden. And I'm Matty. Today we'll be talking about food. We're going to be talking about food. Matty? Yeah? Where'd your accent go? What accent? We're filming a part in WBE TV, Matty. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. It must have just slipped away or something like that. But anyway, today we will be, in fact, talking about <sighs> food. When I'm with you, I swear it's love. Why can't I say it to you? I wish you knew when I'm with you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Matty, wake up. Oh, I know what will work. Fruity snacks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that didn't scare me or anything. Ugh. But anyways, that right there was in fact a musically. It was also me eating a fruity snack. Yes, it was. Here are the top musicals for hashtag WBETV. Just take your time, the clock is ticking, so stay, all you have to do is wait a second, your hands. Jimmy, tell me what's wrong. Okay. Are the trends. Hashtag WBE TV. Hashtag food. Matty, don't forget hashtag eat. Five, three hashtags. Oh, well, well, this has been Hayton, aka Hayden, Matty, aka Maddie, reporting for WBE TV. Back to the tea party, aka studio. Hayden, tea oh. party's this way. <laughs> kids these days. <sighs> well, this has been Hannah Knott and my Bristol reporting for WBE TV. Season 4, Episode 4. <laughs> Woo, I'm not that old. This is definitely not an awkward turtle. <laughs> okay.